Get out of my way! Sir, what ails her? Panic not, Mrs. Shakespeare. The maid hath but fainted. Fainted? But why? A dreadful confrontation in the tavern, Mrs. Shakespeare. Susanna was making merry with a group of young people when a boy called Claude did approach and defame her most vilely, calling her a tarting slap. I so a tarting slap? Never! <laughs> Afraid so, Mrs. S. Seems she was seen stocking some other bloke and letting him cop a feel up. <laughs> I've never done it, Mum, I swear! Fear not, Susanna. You have been the victim of a foul plot which I, as master of the watch, have uncovered. <laughs> Tell them everything you told me. I omit nothing. I omitting nothing, sir. I said... Hello, Master Shakespeare. It is a bit of a chilly night. You said... Bloomin' chilly, Master Dugbury. Twould freeze the bolling brooks on When I said omit nothing, I meant omit nothing important. You are a ass. <laughs> Permission to object, sir? Dost thou not suspect my place? Dost thou not suspect my years? Suspect? He means respect. <laughs> what a hilarious confusion of language. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I'd written it. <laughs> I'm sure in time you will. I was doing my watching. I was watching here. I was watching there. I was watching everywhere. That'd be my job, as we'd be called, the watch. <laughs> and then you heard something. Yeah. I did, sir, which I hope did not exceed my duty, sir, being as how we be not called the listen. Tell them what you heard. A very rogue and peasant knave called Don John, sir, boasting as how he had done a trick by snogging up the sluttage Margaret, but telling Claude as how he'd been snogging up the chaste Susanna. I have him locked up, sir, and the whole village will know of his slander. Thank you. You are dismissed. <laughs> well, we must also take our leave. Uh, big show tomorrow. <laughs> it's so important to bring arts to the regions. It's very culturally divisive that the entertainment industry is so London-centric. <laughs> like mad culturally divisive. I agree. Why should there not be a theatre or production facility elsewhere? The Lancashire village of Salford, for example. Except then we'd all be horribly inconvenienced whenever we wanted to work there. <laughs> Let's be moved, I suppose. Went to live in the north. <laughs> Perhaps best left as it is, so we'll uh, see you anon. Good evening. Thank you so much, Mr Bird. Oh, well done, oh, husband. Oh, Brilliant police work. A rogue unmasked and Susanna's name be cleared. And I can get my Claude back. This Claude must be taught a lesson before he'd be welcomed back into the fold. And I have a brilliant idea. Oh, God. <laughs> we must tell him that Sue did not faint, but died. <laughs> of a broken heart. Then will I, as stern father, go to Claude and inform him that, as penance, he must get with my niece Prue instead. Then, when Claude comes here for Prue, he will find this Prue all veiled, because, bet you can't guess... It's me. Oh, you did guess. Well, yes, you will reveal yourself as Sue, Claude will have been taught his lesson, you will take him back and all will be love and joy. I think you should sleep on it. Come on, kids. Judith, you shouldn't still be up. And Hamnet. 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 Hamnet's run away. Boy missing. This is a job for the watch. He's not missing. I know exactly where he's gone. It's you and your stupid blooming play wheel exciting the boy about war. I'll be back. 